If we can all find our bodies in a comfortable seated position, any easy seat that feels good for you, may you find that seat. I am sitting in an easy seat. As we are using our pose, our seat to relax and wind down the mind and body here today, ensuring that our tummies are tucked in at our navel, spinal cords are nice and elongated, meaning we are not sunken. Having that nice, elongated spine helps control and relax the back. Relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. A lot of times we sit tensed with our shoulders shrugged. Just being mindful to relax those shoulders down helps us to relax and soothe the upper parts of our bodies. As we take a nice, deep, intentional breath in, exhale. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into that seated prayer. Maybe our thumbs are touching our sternum, the center of our chest. That feels good with the eyes gazed down. Three breaths. Let's make it four breaths of silence. Two more breaths. As we take a nice breath in, exhale, breathe the nose, palms up in the air, palms are together. We're going to feel that stretch interlacing our fingers with that pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. We're going to squeeze those shoulder blades, the back blades together as we allow our arms to flow to the back of the room. We're going to slightly lift that chin up, gazing slightly at the heavens. Feeling this slight back bend in the lumbar body with our shoulder blades squeezed together. We are working the upper back. Tummies are tucked in at the navel. Three breaths. Two breaths. We're going to exhale back to center, separating those palms, coming into that seated extended mountain. Palms are separated as we twist the body towards the right. Palms come down towards the earth as we gaze over that right shoulder, coming into that seated twist. Optioning to breathe that left hand to that right knee to come deeper in that twist, if that feels good for you. Noticing how this twist and soothes the spinal cord. We are decompressing here with the eyes gazed down and closed. Four breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, we're going to come into that seated star. In the star, our palms are slightly outward towards the side. And that seated salute, our palms are together above our head. And at seated extended mountain, our palms are separated. Those three poses look very similar. Extended mountain, palms are separated. Seated salute, palms are together. Seated star, palms are out towards the side. We are in that star. We're going to keep that chin up. Heart chakras lifted. Taking a nice breath. Exhale, twisting the body towards the left. Palms come down as we gaze over that left shoulder. Seated twist, opposite side. Allowing that twist to soothe and decompress the spine with the eyes gaze down. Four breaths. Two breaths. Exhale and back to center. We're going to flow into a seated cow. Just breathing that spinal cord towards the back of the room. Chin comes to clavicle. Tummies are tucked in at the navel. This is cat. I'm sorry. Seated cat. As we flow into our cow, lifting that chin up, heart chakra comes up. Slightly squeezing those back blades together in that cow. Flowing back to that cat. As we do seated cat cows to our natural breath. Two 
Two more breaths. Mm. We're going to find our pause at center, coming into a diamond pose. We're going to bound our feet together in that diamond. Now, a diamond, our feet are further away from our bodies, and it's a bound position. Our butterfly, our feet are closer to our bodies. It is also a bound position. Both these poses are hip openers. Just taking a moment to notice how the butterfly is a little deeper of a stretch. So if a client or yourself has tight hips, maybe start out in that diamond and then work your way to that butterfly. So whatever feels best for you, connecting our hands to our feet, we're going to keep that heart chakra lifted, that chin is up. Our pelvic bone is not tilted backward. It is tilted forward, making that nice elongated spine here. As we connect our hands to our feet, we're going to slightly hinge forward just a little. And taking a notice how when we hinge at the hips, we'll feel that stretch a little deeper in our thighs. So only hinging forward as much as it comfortably allows in your body. If we choose, we want to go deeper in that hinge. We can allow our torso to come closer to the earth, to our feet. We can drop those shoulders down and we can drop that head, dropping that chin. Noticing how that feels. We can move our feet slightly further from our body to come closer to the earth. As we drop those shoulders down, dropping our head downward, chin comes to clavicle. Taking a nice breath. Exhale. And that exhale, feel the body come closer to the earth. Eyes are gaze down and closed. Four breaths. Two breaths. Slightly gazing, straightening that back, using our hands to lift our torso up. We're going to come back into that cow. Noticing how this cow feels in the spinal cord. Their heart chakra is lifted, chin is up. Flow into that cat, tucking that chin into the clavicle. Spinal cord flows to the back, tummies are tucked in. As we do a couple of cat cows. We're going to find that pause coming back into that bound position, either diamond or butterfly. We're going to position our bodies to feel nice and comfortable. And we're going to lift this left foot up off the earth, connecting that left foot to that left hand. Then we're going to straighten that left foot out to the either to the front or slightly to the side. And feeling that stretch here in that inner thigh. We're going to keep that spinal cord long. The pelvic bone is not Sunken back, it is tilted forward. Pelvic bone is tilted forward. Lifting that heart chakra and that chin up. We can bend our knee if needed. We can keep that leg straight. We are feeling that stretch. Chin is up, heart chakra is lifted. Breathe in. Exhale, hold the pose. Two more breaths. Breathing that leg inward. Coming back into that bound position just for a second. We're going to extend that right leg outward towards the side. Feel in that stretch. It can be out to the side. It can be in front of you. Whatever feels best for your body. We can option to slightly bend that knee if needed. We can keep it straight. We are feeling that stretch here in our inner thigh. That heart chakra is lifted. That chin is up. Our pelvic bone is tilted forward, allowing us to elongate our spinal cord. Taking a breath. Exhale, keeping that chin up, spinal cords along. Two more breaths. Exhale, breathing that leg back in. We're going to extend that left leg back out to the side. Now we're going to breathe that right leg out to the side. We are in a boat pose variation, feeling a stretch. Our legs can be together slightly. They can be apart. Maybe playing around with it and seeing which feels best in your body. We are stretching and we are lengthening. We are keeping that pelvic bone tilted forward. Spinal cords are nice and elongated. 
Tummies are nice and tight at our core. You're going to keep that heart chakra lifted and that chin up. Four breaths. Two breaths. Maybe try to come nice and wide-legged here, feeling that stretch. Exhale, bringing our feet back into that bound position. We're going to slightly hand you at the hips just for a second, allowing those shoulders to drop, allowing that head to drop. Two breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. Using the hands to push our bodies up. We're going to straighten our legs coming into a staff pose. Legs are parallel straight in front of us. Toes are pointing upwards towards the heavens. Spinal cords are nice and elongated. We're going to lift that heart chakra up, lifting that chin up. Tummies are tucked in. Breathe in. Exhale. Palms are flat on our laps. And we're going to point our toes downward towards the earth, coming into that ballerina's foot, pointing the toes downward. Noticing how when we point the toes down, we'll feel that stretch behind our legs and our calves. And point our toes up. We don't really feel that stretch. So doing what feels best for you, we can rotate between the two, pointing the toes down and pointing the toes up. Whatever you choose, we're going to keep that spinal cord nice and elongated, tummies are tucked. Three more breaths. Two breaths. We're going to find that pause. We're going to tilt those toes downward towards the earth. And we're going to slightly hinge at the hips. And maybe our hands are at our knees or our lower parts of our legs, maybe our ankles or even our feet. Wherever we may be, we are lengthening and pulling. This is a hamstring stretch here. As our torso comes closer to our thighs, we can option to drop our shoulders forward and drop our head down to completely feel that stretch. As we take a nice breath, exhale, filling the eyes, gaze down as we relax into our thighs. Four breaths. Two breaths. Coming up to that half forward fold, seated half forward fold. Coming back up into that staff pose. Straightening the body. Just taking a moment to relax here. As we breathe our palms up, lifting our palms above our heads, feeling that stretch. Shoulders flows up towards the ears, nice elongated spine. As we interlace our fingers with that pointer finger pointing up, allowing our arms to slightly flow to the back of the room. Heart chakra is lifted, chin is up. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, palms come at heart center, relaxing the palms down in front of our chest. Seated prayer. Breathe in, exhale, two more breaths, placing our palms flat on the earth, we are connecting our palms to the earth, just taking a moment to check in with our environment, taking a moment to notice how we feel within, right here, right now, in our present moment, without judgment. Three breaths. Two breaths. We're going to bend this right knee. Right foot is flat on the earth. Knee is up in the air. Now we're going to cross this right foot over that left thigh. We're going to breathe this right hand behind our backs with our fingertips facing away from us. We're going to take this left elbow and cross it over that right thigh. And we're going to gaze over our right shoulder. Feeling this spinal twist. 
allowing a spine to relax, allowing a body to relax. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, straightening that right leg. We're going to lift that left knee up. Left foot is flat on the earth. We're going to cross this left foot over that right. We're going to breathe this right hand behind our backs with our fingertips facing away from us. We're going to use this, bring this right elbow over that left thigh as we gaze over that left shoulder. Feeling this deep spinal twist on the opposite side of the body. Allowing the shoulders to relax, eyes gaze down. Breathe in. Exhale. Feeling the body relax. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, straightening that left leg. We are back in that staff pose. We're going to slightly hand at the hips, coming into a half forward fold or a complete forward fold. And we are feeling this hamstring stretch here. This is a full body stretch. It's going to take some time to feel the pose in the body with the eyes gaze down. Two more breaths. Exhaling up to that half forward fold, coming back up to that staff pose. We're going to position our bodies to feel nice and balanced on our buttocks as we take our feet off the earth. We are kind of breathing our knees into our chest, feet are off the earth. You're going to feel your core, your tummy muscles engaging here. We're going to work on that boat pose. We can have our knees Kind of bent, we can extend our legs straight up in a boat pose. Whatever feels best for you, we are working the core, we are working the back, we are balancing the body. We're going to keep that chin up, heart chakra is lifted. Core muscles are nice and tight here. Six breaths. Five. Four, two more breaths. We're going to hold it. Let's breathe those hands in. Let's pound our hands from side to side, work with the obliques. We're going to do a couple of bonus breaths here. Just pounding the hands left and right, working that core. Four more breaths. Three, two, one, finding that pause, hugging those knees into the chest, keeping the feet off the earth, hugging the knees into the chest. Feet are off the earth. Yes, just lifting the body. Chest meets thighs. Hold it there. We can cross our hands. We can hold our knees, whatever feels best for you. Keep it a core tight. Breathe in. Exhale. Building those shoulders, relax down. Two more breaths. Allowing our bodies to fall onto our backs, hugging the knees into the chest. We are in a reclined position. Blowing, falling onto our backs, reclined position. Shoulder blades melts into the earth. Hugging those knees into the chest. Breathe in. Exhale. Feet are flat on the earth, knees are up in the air. Allowing the shoulder blades to completely relax into the yoga mat. Hmm. Hang it out here for two more breaths. With our feet flat on the earth, our knees are up in the air. Our palms are flat on the earth next to our buttocks. 
We're going to use this pose to lift our buttocks off the earth. You're going to feel your gluteus maximus get nice and tight here. We are working on lifting and rounding that gluteus maximus. And we can just cross it up and hold it there, or we can go up and down doing rotations, bringing the buttocks down to the earth and lifting it back up, feeling that squeeze. Or we can just keep it up and squeeze it tight. Whatever feels best for you and your body, we are working at gluteus maximus. And if we want to go a little deeper, this here is a bridge pose. If we want to go deeper, we can interlace our hands underneath our buttocks, breathing our hands underneath our buttocks, walking our shoulder blades closer towards our spine. When we do this, you'll notice your chest goes higher in the air. Now we are in that deeper bridge. And we can pulse that gluteus maximus up nice and high and feel a deeper squeeze in that buttocks. This here is a pelvic tilt. Noticing how that pelvic bone tilts upwards in the air. Pelvic tilt poses are great for people who sit in office chairs all day. It helps with alignment. It helps rebalance the hips and the alignment of that lumbar spine from sitting all day. Pelvic tilt poses. This pose is also not just aligning our pelvic and our spine, it is squeezing and tightening our gluteus maximus. We're also working our shoulder blades as we are breathing our shoulder blades closer to our spine. And you may feel that burn in your gluteus maximus. That's a good thing. We're going to keep on squeezing. We're going to do this for eight more breaths. Mm. Six more breaths. Four breaths. Two breaths. We're going to pulse it down and then we're going to squeeze it up nice and tight. Squeeze, squeeze, filling that burn. Gluteus maximus nice and tight, buns of still, lifting and rounding, squeeze, squeeze. We're doing some bonuses here. Pulsing it back down and squeezing it back up nice and tight, filling that gluteus maximus round. Holding it, a couple more breaths. Two more breaths. Slowly uninterlacing those fingers. We're going to untuck those shoulder blades, hugging our knees into our chest, squeezing them in. Exhaling our legs up on, a, up on the wall. Waterfall pose, a.k.a. Pointing those toes towards the heavens. Breathing our hands down our legs and breathing our legs towards our torso. You may notice your gluteus maximus comes slightly off the earth. This here is a counter pose allowing us to relax and soothe our lumbar back and our gluteus maximus muscles that we just worked. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Mm. Exhale, legs on the wall. We're gonna breathe our legs towards the side, nice and wide-legged, reclined, wide-legged stretch here. Feeling this stretch in your inner thighs, as we point our toes outward towards the side. We can option to connect our hands to our toes if that feels good. We're going to hold this four more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, bringing our legs back inward, legs on a wall pose or a waterfall pose. As we hug our knees into our chest, feeling that squeeze, and we're going to allow our knees to flow towards the left. Recline spinal twist. Knees flows to the left. You'll feel that spinal cord twist and decompress. Right arm comes out to the side like a lowercase t. Now we can gaze up at the heavens or we can gaze over our right shoulder. Whatever feels good for you as we allow our shoulder blades to 
but relax. Close to the earth, just feel the nose, shoulder blades relax to the yoga mat. Eyes are gazed, downward or closed. Breathe in. Exhale. Silent meditation, six natural breaths. Exhale into center, hugging those knees into the chest. Breathe in. Exhale. Allowing the knees to flow to the right. Recline, spinal twist, opposite side. Allowing those shoulder blades to melt to the earth. Breathing our left arm out to the side like a lowercase t. You can option to gaze up at the heavens or gaze over our left shoulder. Also, in our recline spinal twist, just as a note, we can do recline spinal twist hand to toe by extending that top leg out, connecting it to our right hand. And you'll feel just a little deeper stretch. We can do this on either side. That's just a nice option. Just wanted to throw that in there. As we gaze our eyes down, feeling our bodies relax and soothe. Six breaths of silence. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center, hugging those knees into the chest. Allowing the knees, the legs to fall to the side, lifting those legs up. Happy baby. Happy baby is a hip opener. We can breathe our hands between our thighs, breathe them out towards the edges and connect them to our feet. And our happy baby, if that feels good. Happy baby is a pose that they use to finally get into a pretzel pose. So if you can get into a pretzel, feel free to flow into that pretzel, lifting those shoulders, those feet, legs over the shoulders, if you choose. Or not, we can just hang out and have some fun here in our Happy baby. We can option to rock from side to side using the earth to massage our spinal cord. Or we can just stay still in our happy baby. Maybe pulse our legs, our feet up and down, opposite side, if that feels good. Whatever you choose, freestyling happy baby for six natural breaths. <laughs> Three more breaths. Mm -hmm. Exhale, legs straight up in the air, legs on the wall pose, breathing our legs towards our torso. Optioning to flow into a plow pose if that feels good for you. Or we could just simply just breathe our legs over our head, but that's come slightly off the earth. 
three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale down, legs on the wall, waterfall pose. Holding it up here, a couple more breaths. <sighs> Breathe in, exhale. Recline, pigeon pose, slightly bending those knees. We're gonna cross that right foot over that left thigh. Breathing those legs into the chest. Noticing how this relaxes and soothes that gluteus maximus. Also works on the hips. Recline, pigeon pose. Three breaths. Two breaths. Switching sides, crossing that left leg over that right thigh. This time, breathing the legs into the chest. Recline pigeon, opposite side. Noticing how this stretches and relaxes that gluteus maximus. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, hugging those knees into the chest, extending those legs out parallel in front of us. We are in that relaxation pose, Shavasana. We're going to point our toes downward towards the earth. We're going to breathe our arms above our heads, coming into that full body stretch, interlacing our hands together. Maybe we can slightly walk our shoulder blades towards our spine. Noticing how your chest comes slightly away from the earth, allowing the body to completely feel that full body stretch, lifting the chest off the earth, the back off the earth, pointing the toes downward. Two more breaths. Holding this pose, let's interlace our fingers, our hands, and let's walk our bodies towards the left. We're going to flow into a banana pose. Walking the body towards the left, and then we're going to cross our right foot over our left foot. Point those toes down. Slightly relaxing our head on our left arm. We are in that banana pose, feeling that stretch in the side body. We're also stretching and lengthening our spinal cord. Four breaths. Two breaths. I'm crossing that right. Side, that right foot, we're going to walk our shoulder blades back to the center. We are back in that straight stretch. We look like a number L, a lowercase L. And we're going to keep our hands interlaced. And we're going to walk our bodies towards the right side, the opposite side. Coming into that banana pose. And we're going to cross our left foot over our right foot, right ankle. Allowing our head to relax on our right arm or Shoulder, we are in that banana, opposite side, lifting that heart chakra, pointing those toes downward towards the earth. Breathe in. Exhale. Three more breaths. Two breaths. As we uncross that left foot, walking our bodies back to center, coming into a, a lowercase L, that full body stretch. You're going to breathe our palms at our side. Next to our buttocks, we can place our arms on our chest. Palms at heart center, whatever feels good for you here in your Shavasana. As our shoulder blades connects to the earth, our feet, our legs are connected. 
The sides of our feet are connected or touching each other. And now we're going to allow our feet to fall to the side. Just fall to the side. Feel the neck really relax the entire lower parts of the body. Hands are relaxed. Feet and legs are relaxed. Eyes are gazed downward or closed. As we breathe in, exhale. Breathe in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. As those eyes gaze down and close. Eight breaths of silence. Four more breaths. Two breaths. As we roll onto our side, coming into a fetal pose, relaxing the body, just rolling over, using our hands to act as a pillow, maybe slightly breathing our knees into our chest, taking a breath, exhale, filling the eyes, gaze down and close. Four more breaths. Rotating our toes, rotating our ankles, rotating our hips, rotating our shoulders and back legs. Just using this wiggle to wake up the body. We can keep our eyes gaze down as we are wiggling if that feels good. Breathe in. Exhale. We can option to stay close to the earth. We don't have to come into a seated pose, but those who do, using that top hand to lift the body up. Coming into any easy seat that feels good for you, I'm going to come into a power face legs. Keeping our backs nice and elongated, tummies are tucked in at the navel. Shoulders are relaxed downward away from our ears if we are in our seated position. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Flowing our palms up to the side, feeling that stretch. Coming into that seated salute, palms are together, heart chakras lifted, chin is up. Exhale into that seated extended mountain, separating those palms. We're going to twist the body towards the right. Palms come down towards the earth. We're going to gaze over that right shoulder. A spinal twist. Exhale back to center. Coming into that star. Heart chakra is lifted. Chin is up. Seated star. Taking a breath. Exhale, twist to the opposite side, gazing over that shoulder, spinal twist.
And exhaling back to center, connecting our hands to our feet. Or connecting our hands to the earth, the yoga mat, or relaxing them on our thighs. Breathe in. Exhale. Feeling the shoulders relax down. Two more breaths. Our chin is relaxed. Our facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. Go and end. Noticing how we feel in our present moment. Right here, right now, without judgment, simply taking notice, simply being there. Five breaths of silence, optioning to breathe the palms at heart center. Two more breaths. I would like to thank you all for allowing me to practice self-care and practice teaching training with you here today, for it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you all. Namaste.